folks, just want to talk to you about the VZ 2008. Um, basically, it is almost the exact thing as a VZ 58 that was originally put out by CZ, CZ VZ. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the only difference is that this one has an American made receiver, which is milled. Um, the other one was milled as well. And also the American made barrel. Uh, the rest of it is all CZ parts, or the original type of CZ parts. Um, I got this one from Classic Firearms. I wanted to give those guys some credit as well. I love the guns that I've gotten from them so far. Everything's been good to go. Um, a couple neat things about this this gun here. It doesn't come with uh, a traditional type stock. It's like this, uh, I don't want to call it particle board, uh, but it's uh, it's really just like some type of resin with wood Mm, chips, shavings, I don't know what you call them, uh, but just kind of pressed together to make a stock. And I actually really like it because it doesn't have the propensity to melt like a uh, like a, like a Tapco piece of furniture wood or a polymer piece of furniture. I've melted quite a few of those on the AKs that I've had over throughout the time. A um, couple things about this. Uh, this one that I got from Classic was really good. Uh, there's reportedly a bunch of issues um, that come with these things. This one here doesn't have any of them. They'll just run through. Number one, uh, a lot of people talk about the bayonet being hard to take on and put off. I'm oh, sorry, put on and take off, excuse me. Um, sorry, I'm not doing this with two hands here. Yeah, I mean, that's about as easy as it gets. Uh, so I think I got a good one in that regard. Um, the foregrip, a lot of people say they're wiggly on theirs. Mine is not wiggly at all. Awesome. Uh, the next thing is the folder. A lot of people say their folders get stuck and jammed. Um, that folder as smooth as day I mean I mean you can't get any better than that right so especially for you know a cheap little folder like this one um, one thing that I did do because I feel like it's necessary is I wrapped uh, my stock with a little bit of paracord so I could have a cheek rest on it um, this thing hurts your face when you stick your cheek on it for more than you know 20 shots or so I ran a bunch of magazines through it, and I'll actually attach a video that I did at the range just to show you guys the function of the gun and how, how well it shoots. Uh, but I ran quite a few magazines through it and did not have this on there. Uh, it started to hurt my cheek quite a bit, um, and I'm no Sally, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, aside from that, I think it's a great gun. Yeah, the, like, the, the receiver is milled, fully milled. This piece right here, if you don't know what a receiver is, guys. Uh, it comes apart pretty easy. Uh, it's nothing that's really all too challenging to do. Uh, basically, you just push this pin out right here, all the way out, right there. Push this forward, pop this up. I'm trying to stay in camera view here. Oh, you know what? The spring's got tension on it, or does it? Uh, let me let me retry that here. I'll make sure there's no tension on the spring when you do this. Oh yeah, so pull this pull the pin all the way out. Push this forward. Come on back with it. I don't know why this is giving me such trouble. There we go. Come on back with it. And you bring this piece straight back uh, and just lift it straight out. No problem. Now you're going to see the bolt's a little bit different. Uh, this is not an AK. <laughs> a lot of people will tell you that. It's not an AK. Um, but uh, this is your bolt. Comes out really easy. I mean, this bolt just slides right off. Um, we don't have to take that apart right now. I don't want to. Uh, but then this piece, you just twist it out twist it out when you get it done down there, and that'll come out too. That's your uh, your firing pin there. Uh, but there's your bolt carrier, bolt, firing pin, good to go. Um, that's just about it. So, I mean, it's, it's much different from an AK. And then if you want to take the, the gas tube off, I didn't clean it, right? If you want to take the gas tube off, this little pin right here will do the job for you, just like this one did. And just take it off, put post, poke that pin out just like an AK. Um, when you go to put it back together, not just like an AK, but when you pull the tube out, it's just like an AK. When you want to put it back together, um, you have to make sure that the bolt is uh, is all the way forward um, when you're putting it in, and then just kind of sit it on the back of the gun, right there, and right forward. That's it. These here have to line up. It's easier if you get this one in first. Oh, my apologies. So you have to pull the trigger to get the uh, bolt forward, or the firing pin, excuse me. Um, this, these two here are kind of difficult to put back in because it's kind of wiggly woggly, you know? Um, but the best thing to do is just try to line the first one up. And then as you're doing that, run the second one in with it. Um, sorry, this is all dirty because I haven't cleaned it yet. But that's another thing. 
it's pretty pretty reliable, whether or not. And then just kind of push it forward, rest it back in. Like it came out a lot easier than when it, when it came in, and a lot easier than it went out. That's for sure. Um, just a minute. There we go. Snaps back, and then push that pin back in, and it's done. Um, so pretty simple stuff there. Um, the gun runs pretty nice. I mean, there's not much to that. Uh, other than that, I think it's a great gun. I think it's a lot more accurate than an AK. Um, some would probably credit that to the steel barrel and the tighter tolerances. Uh, some, I'm not 100% sure if this is true or not, but lots of folks do talk about the chromine barrels as though they don't provide as much accuracy. Uh, but I think the tolerances of this gun, uh, being that it's built uh, with no slop in it really whatsoever, um, is probably the reason why it's in the condition or why it shoots as well as it does. Um, I do have some shooting videos as well that I can attach to this and some images of some targets that I took afterwards. Now, one of the things that I really like about the gun is the magazines. Uh, I'm going to grab a standard AK mag here too. Got to have an AK mag. So there's really not too much of a difference um, when you look at them anyway. I mean, if you look at them, they look pretty similar. A couple things. Number one, this is aluminum. The VZ 58, oh, sorry, 2008, I guess, but it's the same mag for a 58 as well. Uh, it's aluminum, where this one is steel. Um, you can feel the weight. I know I got bullets in this one, but when they're empty, you can feel the weight difference. Even though this mag is slightly bigger, this one is uh, much, much heavier because it's made of just normal little steel. Um, aside from that, so the other difference is like the VZ 58, you can see the lip around the top of this here. Um, that's kind of what sits on the gun to keep it level. Whereas the AK mag just kind of floats. Uh, the other thing that's kind of different is where the rib is on the back. This is skewed over to the side. This is right down the middle. So it's actually a pretty easy way uh, to tell them apart. Um, and your 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 catch uh, will be in the middle on an AK mag versus the catches to the left on this one because the release of this mag, the mag release, excuse me, is uh, put one in here real quick. The mag release is skewed to the side. It's not right in the middle like an AK. It's just on the side of the trigger guard, making it a little different, but still pretty usable, pretty easy. Um, that, that's my, my VZ2008. I love the gun. I got a short video shooting it coming up next, and uh, enjoy. Thank you, Classic, for delivering another good quality firearm.